I just finished up cardio and I was gonna answer some Snapchat questions while riding the bike, but that might get annoying. So I'm done with cardio, but I just figured I would pedal while answering. But we'll just take a few minutes just to answer a couple of questions real quick. We got here, have you ever considered using a meal prep service or getting sponsored by one? So again, Snapchat, um, I have never really considered it. It might be convenient during prep. Right now, I don't really need it. I enjoy cooking my own food. It's pretty simple to do. If someone reached out to me and said they were gonna hook me up with meals and I believed in the company and everything, I don't see why not, but eh. Have you ever considered steroids? And if so, what made you decide not to take them? Never something I considered. Never really wanted to put exogenous hormones into my body. Don't feel like sticking myself with anything. Don't feel like taking any pills that I don't need to be taking. I have nothing against steroids or people who use them. It's just personal preference. I've just chosen not to take them and go the natural route. Is it root or route? The natural route, the natural route. Like Route 66 or rap. If you were never overweight and never found fitness, what would you be doing with your life? A regular nine to five? If so, what role, business owner, entrepreneur? That's a really good question. And for those who don't know, I was overweight pretty much my whole life. And years ago, I started watching other fitness YouTubers and I was inspired by these strangers more or less. And I figured if they can inspire me and I don't even know who they are, why not just try and inspire people myself? So I started my own series on YouTube and that was something I was always passionate about, helping others regardless of how I could do that, whether it be with business, with school, with sports, with family, with relationships and friendships. I always just wanted to be available for people to help them. So that's why I started the YouTube channel in the first place and over time it grew into what it is now, which is obviously I'm creating content for it, but I run an online coaching business and that's my main job right now. I think everyone at some point in their life wants to be an entrepreneur, right? You wanna set your own schedule, you wanna make your own money, you wanna stay in bed as long as you want or wake up at whatever hours you want. And it all sounds great, but it doesn't always play out as great as you would think. And some people try it and fail, which is there's nothing wrong with that. You can get back up and try again. Uh, some people just don't have the capacity to do it. They need that structure, they need that nine to five, they need that secure income, they need those benefits. So. It's hard to put myself in a situation that I'm not in because if I was in that situation, my answer would probably be a little bit different, but that's a really good question. Will you do any full day of eatings while you are on a lean bowl? Of course, man, of course. Uh, let's get like two more. What's going on, Manny Fusaro? Um, Just quick question. What do you do when people start your program and they end up falling short, like they don't finish it or anything? Like Short. So I guess he's asking if someone signs up with me for online coaching and they don't actually stick to the program I do my best to try and motivate people, but I always say this motivation is intrinsic If someone is motivating you, that's just a spark and in order to keep that spark lit You have to be the one who is disciplined who's committed to it So, you know when someone starts falling off I do my best to try and bring their spirits back up tell them that their attitude is really important you know do everything you can to inspire or motivate the person, but in the end, if they don't wanna do it, they don't wanna do it. So I do my best, I try my hardest, and, uh, and just hope that they stick with it. But there are some people who, you know, life happens, shit happens, stress happens, relationships fail, and, and all of those burdens on a person can hold them back from actually making progress. So I definitely understand that, and I just try and sympathize with them the best as possible. All right, cool, that's it. I don't wanna take too much time. I'm gonna actually do a separate Q&A soon, probably on my Instagram. So make sure to follow me on there. I'll leave my social links right here. So follow me here and here and here and here. And then, uh, yeah, let's start this video. To address the fact that I just did cardio on a bulk, because I know some people are gonna ask, why are you doing cardio if your goal is to lean gain or to gain size or whatever? I do it because my activity level is somewhat low just because of my job. Again, I'm sitting behind a computer most of the day. I go to the gym and I train, but you ever hear the whole like, try and get 10,000 steps in a day. That is something that I try and do. I've worn a Fitbit before. Sometimes I'll throw it on on some random days just to get an idea of how many steps I'm actually taking. And it's pretty upsetting when I actually look at it. So I'm just trying to get myself moving a little bit more. I'm not doing it with the intention of burning a ton of calories or putting myself in a deficit, obviously. But I do it just to be healthy and just to keep myself as active as possible. So plus it allows you to eat a little bit more if you throw in some cardio. So that's why I'm doing it. Aha, son, you're bright. Now let's start the video.
I bring this damn thing to the gym. Battery was completely full when I left the house. Three exercises in, battery's about to die. You piece of shit. All I wanna do is get some footage for you guys, so I'm gonna try and get the whatever I can out of this and then I guess switch over to the phone, but I don't have a tripod for the phone right now at the gym. We're gonna make it work. All right, so I told you guys I don't have a tripod for my phone. So I just met my man Dylan over here, who filmed that last set for me. So thank you for that, bro. You're welcome. Do you have any social media or anything you want to plug? Instagram or anything like that, or no? No, I'm good. <laughs> no? All right, he's good. But uh, I just want to say thanks to him for filming that for me. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Thank you. We got to go left, right? This is my Starbucks order today. Is the color it's of the like, back here? Yeah, that's pretty sick. Not. So Starbucks, I got tall cold brew with two pumps of sugar-free like mocha syrup. So there's zero calories. Well, maybe the like three color. calories. Oh are you, who are you talking to? You. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, shit, it is. I got a pickle. That. That what? is the same color. You got a pickle in your coffee? No, I'm a is Starbucks it, for life. Uh, is it a bread and butter pickle? It was delicious. It no, tastes like ketchup. Like so oh, nasty. Good. I said white mocha, didn't I? Yeah. The girls back there ordered something and they didn't get what they ordered. Now, I want to ask you guys would you go back to the drive thru and tell them? Or would you just suck it up? It's it's actually pretty bad. I just taste it. It's disgusting tasting. But would you go back to the drive-thru or would you just suck it up and so they're not gonna go, they don't wanna go back around. Does yours taste like hers? Yeah. Yeah, it's three shot three shots of espresso, right? So it kinda tastes like not good. So what would you guys do? It doesn't have to be Starbucks. Like if, let's say you went to I bet you if this was Chick-fil-A or something, we'd go back to the drive thru. We can't really mess anything would not up. Mess up. Yeah, and you can't really mess up anything there, right? I mean, yeah, chicken sandwich, what are they gonna give chicken you? Or chicken. Yeah. We just got to the outlets and me and Connor are here and the girls are off doing their shopping. Me and Connor are just gonna go into Nike. What is that? Crepes? Crepes? A crepe truck. Look at that. Crepe truck. You can borrow my extra gloves. Extra gloves this whole time? Yeah. We're in the Rockies. <laughs> Something wrong with this t-shirt. I think I know what it is. Much better.